What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today is Friday, so obviously it's my championship match day seven score predictions. We've got a lot of talking points to go over. We've got some midweek games that I was going to talk about. Sorry about yesterday. I was going to do a video talking about the midweek games, but unfortunately I couldn't get the graphics done on time and I had to do stuff with my university and go to gym. So sorry about that, guys. I wasn't available enough. If you've got a correct score, by the way, in midweek, your comment will be included on the screen right now for what I know three of you did. So well done to all of you. This is what the Lexus Hall of Fame looks like now. I'm still in pole position. I did manage to get a correct score in midweek and Joshua Fruit didn't. So now I've increased my lead a little bit, but I need to up my game for today as well. And for the Premier League games, as always with this series, all of these weekend's fixtures will be in the description down below. So you can pause the video and predict all the fixtures. And if you get one right, your comment will be included and you'll be getting a shout out and you'll be on the Alexa's Hall of Fame or the Prediction League as some people like to call it. If you guys like what we're going to see, please make sure you do give this video a like. It's tremendously appreciated. If you haven't done it, if you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel. We're on 295 subscribers at the moment. Just five more to 300 subscribers. I think we can definitely achieve that by next week. If you can get me there, that'll be fantastically appreciated. And to do that, please share my channel to your social media, friends, other content creators. That would really, really make my day. But without any further ado, let's start predicting these weekend's games. And what a start to the weekend we have today. We've got an East Midlands Derby, Nottingham Forest and Derby County. 20th place versus 22nd place. In reality, if this was late in the season, this would have been a relegation six points, or probably even a nine point of how significant this is. They're only separated by one point and somehow with Nottingham Forest taking longer to find their first win they've now overtaken Derby in the table with Derby losing five of their first six games it's not been a good start for Philip Cocu's side at all in terms of Chris Hewton and Nottingham Forest he's really made them more resolute got them a draw and a win in his first two games Philip Cocu and Derby are just seem to be in disarray right now they try and play like a very complicated system that Cocu wants to see from Derby but they just can't execute it in terms of the starting lineup, I'm expecting to see a complete back four of new signings of Ayanu, Embeso, McKenna and Christie. Just goes to show how much Forrest have done to improve their back line. Then maybe we'll see Graven up top, but he's got the lowest confidence right now. Maybe you might need to swap him out for Lyle Taylor to start things off. As with Derby, I think we'll see Josriag, Raghorn and potentially Tom Lawrence, who's now recovering from injury up top as well. In terms of predicting this game, this is going to be really, really tight. I don't think there'll be much within this. I am a bit more confident seeing Nottingham Forest. I'm going to say a 2 1 victory to Nottingham Forest, but I know Derby can surprise us. The last game we had between these two sides, Chris Martin scored a 95th minute equaliser. So hopefully the game is as dramatic as that. If you saw my FIFA 21 stream yesterday, of course I don't show FIFA 21 gameplay anymore. I now live stream all its games just before the game starts this weekend. And if you saw the stream, you would have known that Derby got a 1-0 away victory according to FIFA. So a very interesting prediction on FIFA's part. If you want to see all of FIFA 21's predictions, by the way, make sure you click on the eye icon up there. I'll show you the link to my last stream yesterday. And then the early Saturday kickoff, we've got Watford going up against Bournemouth. Now, honestly, one of my favourite games, if you saw It's That Ginger Fella, you would know why it would be one of my favourite games. But they are both in the championship now and they've both had a really good start. Watford on 13 points, Bournemouth on 12 points. In terms of Watford, they got a 3-1 victory against Blackburn. Honestly, didn't play too great, but in the first half, they were absolutely electric. And Ismaili Assar and Jao Pedro are going to tear things apart. And I expect both of them to start against Bournemouth as well. In terms of Bournemouth, I'd say they were a little bit unlucky not to get more than their 1-1 draw against Cardiff. They had so many chances, but Alex Smithies was incredible in goal. He denied Solanke from about two yards out. It was an absolutely outrageous save. Harry Wilson managed to rescue a point for Cardiff in the end. But in terms of what I think will happen in this game, I think we could see a pretty tight affair. I hope to see goals, but I'm not too sure we're going to get too many. I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. I think there's nothing that really separates the two sides at the moment. I think Watford would set out to be very, very defensive and allow Bournemouth to have the ball. But they're so devastating going forward and hitting teams on the break. And with Sar and Pedro up front, I think they'll eventually break through. I'll say 1-1, especially trying to beat Begovic and Foster. Two of the best goalkeepers in the league so far. It's going to be an interesting battle. FIFA 21 is actually going to agree with me and say a 1-1 draw as well. Next game we have to predict is Bristol City going up against Swansea. Both sides with pretty strong starts at the moment. Although Bristol City have fallen and have lost their unbeaten start to the league. Losing 1-0 at home 
to Middlesbrough where they looked really, really flat. And it was a mistake from Taylor Moore, which allowed George Savile just to basically tap it past Bentley in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Very poor from Taylor Moore. I think he'll learn from that. Swansea right now, they've looked to be a little bit flat in their most recent games. Maybe it could be Tynus or maybe it could be them trying to fill the void of Joe Rodon. But either way, they've not looked too great in their last two games. But this will be the sort of game that they can definitely turn around their form. Both of their squads right now are definitely strong with an attacking set with Ayu and Lowe for Swansea. But then you see this goal scoring form that Mackie Wells is in right now for Bristol City. I think definitely we're going to see a very high intensity end to end game with Bristol City scoring 10 goals so far and then Swansea scoring six. Surely we should see goals, but I do think it'll be tighter. I'm going to say a draw as well. I'm actually going to back another 1 1 draw, and FIFA 21 is also going to agree with me. We now go to Cardiff versus Middlesbrough. I won't lie, when I think of these two sides, they don't score a ton of goals. Both of them have only scored four goals in their first six games so far. But both have a system that works. Middlesbrough are currently 11th place at the moment with nine points out of a possible 18. Cardiff, only one point behind them. I think this will be a very, very close game. I think both of them will set out to be very, very defensive, but very tough to beat in terms of their set pieces. And that's both of their strengths. I think we're going to see a very similar game plan with these two sides. If they stick to it, then this could be such a boring nil-nil draw. I feel like the winner of this game is going to be the team that's going to be a little bit more adventurous and can tinker with their style a little bit. Cardiff were lucky, I say, to get a 1-1 draw, although they did grow into the game and fair play for them for doing that, for having a poor record at home recently. But to get a home point against Bournemouth, I don't think it's a bad result. Middlesbrough, great away win against Bristol City. They'll be riding with a load of confidence. Although, in their previous six meetings, Cardiff have a very strong record against Middlesbrough. And I think with that being the case, I'm just going to edge Cardiff for a 1-0 victory. Although I could be very, very wrong with Cardiff not doing too well at home at the moment and Middlesbrough doing quite well away from home. I'm just going to back with the head-to-head -head record and I do think it will be a 1-0 scoreline. And I've just flipped a coin and I'll say Cardiff will get the 1-0 home win. And for the third time in a row, FIFA 21 is going to agree with me. I promise you I'm not copying FIFA 21, although FIFA 21 has been doing better for me in the previous two weeks. So maybe copying them at this stage is not such a bad idea. We now go to Coventry versus Blackburn. For me, I think this game is going to be the complete antithesis of Cardiff and Middlesbrough. Both of these sides attack, attack, attack. Especially with Coventry being the home team. Away from home, they don't really set out to win. Although at home, Coventry do set out to win and they look very, very dangerous. Although recently, I think Coventry have just been trying to find their rhythm in the championship. Since their good 3-2 win versus Queen's Park Rangers, they've struggled to win ever since. In their previous four games, they've only had two draws and two defeats. With Blackburn right now, they've had an incredible start, but now they've slumped a little bit, having two consecutive defeats. Although they have played very, very tough opposition, to be fair to them. And I think against Coventry, they could definitely rise up to it a little bit more. I'm expecting to see goals. Coventry have scored six goals so far in six. Blackburn scored nine goals in six. So I'll be very disappointed if this game doesn't set out to be a very high intense, high scoring game. Coventry actually have a better record than Blackburn in their previous four meetings. But having said that, I think Blackburn could edge it. I mean, I'm happy for Ben Brereton to score his first goal in such a long time at the moment. And they were a bit unlucky against Watford. I think performance-wise, I'll just edge them. I think it'll be a five-goal thriller. I'm going to say a 3-2 away victory to Blackburn. I'm hoping it's going to be that and not like a stalemate. But I'm going to back that. And according to FIFA 21, they think Blackburn will also win, but by one goal to nil. Very interesting. The next game to go over is Huddersfield versus Preston. Both sides with a win in midweek. Huddersfield, absolutely terrific against Derby. You know, they weren't really in the game in the first half. In the second half, they definitely turned up the intensity and eventually they got their goal. I mean, they're playing some really attacking football, Huddersfield, I dare say. Carlos Corbran right now, with the limited resources he's worked with here, He's getting the best out of his players right now. Albeit, it does help when Derby don't have a shot on target until the 90th minute of the game. But, Huddersfield deserve all credit. They really nullified Derby. Preston got a win this time away from home against Queen's Park Rangers from two penalties. One of them looked a bit dubious. Second one, I do agree, should have been a penalty. And maybe there should have been a third one for Emil Reese jacobson when he had a shirt pull. By the way, Reese jacobson was absolutely brilliant. To have his full debut, I think it was definitely the right time and the right sort of game to have it. He looks to be such a good player. Definitely a Jordan Hugo like-for-like -like player. 
Now, in terms of predicting this game, I think this will be really, really tight. Huddersfield right now are in incredible form right now. Preston right now, all their points have been from away from home right now. So definitely they would back themselves to get a win. I'm going to back Preston for a 2-1 away victory. I don't know why. I just have a bit of an instinct that Preston might just edge it. But I could be wrong on this one. This one's a real coin flip because I think both of these sides can get a good result. FIFA 21 has predicted that this, this game will end as a 1-1 draw. Probably would have been my alternative prediction. Next up, we've got Millwall versus Barnsley. This was a really big game for Barnsley last year since it was their first win in 12. And that kind of really saved their season and their confidence. Right now, they need all the points that they can get. They're just above the relegation zone narrowly on goal difference, but they are still winless. They need a win as soon as they can. Their previous performances, though, have proved to be quite encouraging. Two of them have both been 2-2 draws against Bristol City and against Stoke City. I feel like they definitely should have racked up the points, really. The fact they were pegged back just before halftime was a real blow, but the fact they got to 2-1 in halftime, I thought it was incredible character from Barnsley to be able to pull that off, but very poor second half to allow Stoke to get back into it, especially as they were down to 10 men as well. With Millwall, it was a great win against Luton. First goal was a bit controversial since I thought Matt Smith completely fouled his man. But it was overall a very well-deserved win. I think Millwall definitely are looking to be a very well-organised, structured team. Which does make me feel like I should back them. Barnsley actually have a stronger record in their previous six meetings. But having said that, Barnsley are still winners and I think Millwall are just too strong for them. I'm going to say a 2-1 victory to Millwall, but very, very narrow win. A FIFA 21 has also predicted Millwall to win this time by one goal to nil. Should be very close. Now we have Norwich going up against Wickham Wanderers. It looks like to me Norwich are just starting to turn the screw in the championship. They're playing some terrific football right now. Definitely one of the most eye-catching. Definitely, I would feel the best squad. The fact that Todd Cantwell is now playing, I think he's made a huge difference. And a lot more creativity in their midfield. I'm really, really liking what Norwich have at the moment. Wickham right now, still win this. Still six defeats in a row, although they lost against Reading, I would dare say was their best performance. They had more chances than them. And I think having Akin Fenwa back on the pitch, funnily enough, actually makes a huge difference, actually. He makes things happen. And I think Wickham were very unlucky not to get more than a point in this game. Against Norwich, though, it's pretty tough for them. In the previous three meetings, Norwich have won three out of three. And I think it will continue that way. I think Wickham will get a bit of a beating. I'm going to say a 4-1 victory. I do think Wickham will score following that Norwich's defence has not been great but I still think that Norwich will score plenty of goals. I'm going to say 4-1 to Norwich. FIFA 21 has predicted a 3-0 victory to Norwich. Now we have Queen's Park Rangers versus Birmingham. Honestly probably one of the most even and tightly contested games I can think of right now. Both sides pretty much underperforming right now and both actually with the same statistics. One win, three draws and two defeats. Nothing separates them. They're both on six points. Queen's Park Rangers right now, I was expecting them to score way more goals than they were. But they are definitely struggling without the likes of Jordan Hugel and Naki Wells now on their team. Lyndon Dice and McCauley Bomb definitely have to step up as soon as they can. And I think against Birmingham, they do have an opportunity. Although Birmingham right now, it's very tough to score against them now. They're going to be a tough side to play against. But they're goal scoring. They definitely need more goals. And Scott Hogan's definitely not going to do it. I'll be interested to see if you could pitch is going to be able to recover from his illness. But if he doesn't, Scott Hogan really needs to step up for this game. Otherwise, Birmingham are just going to slid down the table. They've definitely got a squad capable of pushing for the top half, but they need goals. And if they don't score goals, they'll just stay down there. Queensborough Rangers slightly edged Birmingham in terms of having the better head-to-head -head in the previous six meetings. Previously, we've had a 4-3 away victory to Birmingham. We've had Queensborough Rangers draw 2-2 with Birmingham with this exact fixture last year. We've seen some mad games with these two teams. But for me, I think this will be a 1-1 draw. I was thinking of 0-0, but I think 1-1 is going to be the most realistic result. FIFA 21 has actually predicted a 3-1 away victory to Birmingham. I mean, I don't see Birmingham scoring three goals, but... We've seen crazier things in the championship, that's for certain. We now have top of the table, Reading still unbeaten. Reading going up against Rotherham. Now, for me, Reading right now definitely didn't have a very strong performance against Wickham Wanderers. They were a little bit lucky at times that Cabral had a really good performance in goal. But what's a really good sign is that even if they're not playing well, they still get a win, no matter what team it is. If you can get a win, even if you're not playing well, it is a sign of champions. 
Rotherham right now are looking a bit frustrated, honestly. They've only lost two of their first six, but they've only won once, which was against Wigan Wanderers as well. They definitely need to be winning against other teams rather than Wigan Wanderers. And right now, it looks like they're dropping so many points from winning positions. I think for the third game running, Rotherham have dropped points from winning positions and they cannot afford to do that anymore. And it gets this Reading side, you know, if you don't take your lead, you know, Reading are the sort of team to punish you. They've got so many attacking and creative players and you definitely need to try and nullify them. With this game, I think this will be very, very close. I think both will be playing forward at the back. I think they play at similar formations, except with Rotherham playing three up top and I think Reading will just have Lucas Jow up front. I think Reading right now with their confidence, I think will edge Rotherham. I'm going to say 2-0 Reading, but I wouldn't be surprised if Rotherham gets something. FIFA 21's predicted that Rotherham will get a 1-0 away victory. Knowing me, FIFA 21 will get this game right. The penultimate game to go over is Sheffield Wednesday versus Luton. Sheffield Wednesday now on minus four points. They missed a big chance to try and reduce their points deduction. They were in the game with Brentford a lot of the way. They narrowly lost 2-1 to them. But to be fair, their performance levels were right up there. And I have, I think, written Sheffield Wednesday off way too quickly with their 12-point deduction. Already, they're four points behind Wickham. And technically, they're only seven points behind Barnsley. They definitely still have to play catch up if they get rid of their points deduction. But I think with squad performances, they can definitely survive. With Luton right now, they had an incredible start. But now, all of a sudden, they're now starting to decline. And Luton cannot afford to do that. They managed to get three wins, but now they've got three defeats on their hand. And they cannot afford to keep losing games. They've lost two games in a row as of now. And against the Sheffield Wednesday side, who will be desperate to try and get rid of their minus 12 points deduction. I think Sheffield Wednesday will look at this game and really go all guns blazing. For me, I think with Sheffield Wednesday being at home, I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-0 victory to Sheffield Wednesday, matching the result from last year. FIFA 21 has actually predicted this game to end by two goals to nil. And then the final game to predict is Stoke versus Brentford. Brentford would still be having nightmares playing against Stoke away last year. That was their game that could really put them in position for the Premier League overtaking West Brom. But they lost 1-0 to them and never looked like scoring, unfortunately, for them. And that ultimately really derailed their season. They'll be hoping to get revenge against this Stoke City side, who right now with Stoke have been doing quite well, actually. Only one defeat in their first six games. They're going to be a very tough side to beat alongside with Birmingham this season. So Brentford have not got it easy, that's for certain. Although Brentford... With their performances, they definitely have looked really good. And I think what has definitely helped is the confidence of Ivan Tony. He scored a brace in three of his last games right now. So with three games in a row, he's got six goals combined. And already Ivan Tony is the top goal scorer. If he can keep his confidence up, he can score over 20 goals easily, in my opinion. Now, for me, I think this is going to be really, really close. I think Stoke are going to make it very difficult for Brentford to play the way they want to play. They'll be glad that Nathan Collins has got his red card rescinded. A bit of a bizarre red card, really. I think it was an off-the-ball incident and the cameras didn't really show it. But I'm glad for them that they can potentially get Collins back for this game because I think it's a very important part in their midfield. I'm going to say that Brentford will edge it by two goals to one. Brentford have had a stronger record than Stoke in their recent head-to-head -head meeting, so I think that helps me decide that Brentford will win this. But I think it will be very, very tight. Stoke can definitely get a result. And FIFA 21 has predicted this game to be a 1-1 draw. But that is all my score predictions for the Championship Match Day 7. Now, obviously, it's tradition. I now predict the Premier League fixtures for this week as well. So today's game, Villa and Leeds. Now I've got two Villa players in my fantasy league team, so I actually hope Villa do quite well. I'm gonna say 2-1 victory to Villa. I do think they still have it within them to keep their great form. West Ham City, well, I mean, West Ham are doing unbelievably well at the moment, but I think Man City will definitely get the points. I'm gonna say 3-1 Man City. Fulham and Palace. Oh, this is gonna be close. 1-1, I think. I think Fulham will get a point. Man United, Chelsea, I won't lie, I'm not confident. I'm going to say 2-0 Man United. Liverpool, Sheffield United. I'm going to say 3-0 Liverpool. I think Liverpool will definitely have a load of fun playing Sheffield this year. Saints and Everton. Um, I think Everton will still get an unbeaten start. 2-1 Everton. Wolves, Newcastle, I'm going to say 3-0 Wolves. And finally, Arsenal and Leicester. I'm not predicting Monday's games, by the way. I'll predict Monday's games when I do my Championship review. But with Arsenal and Leicester... I'm going to say 3-2 Arsenal. I think it'll be very, very tight. But that wraps it up 
for all my score predictions this weekend. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like what you see, please make sure to give this video a like. It's tremendously appreciated. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex. I do football and championship content as much as I can. If you haven't done, please subscribe to the channel. It would really, really make my day. I'll be so appreciative if we can get, get to 300 subscribers by next week. If you don't know what my end goal is, is to get 1,000 subscribers before the end of the season. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I could do a collaboration with Ben HD. And I think a lot of you have subscribed, I've actually subscribed to Ben HD as well. So if you want to see that collaboration happen, make sure you get subscribing and share my channel to as many people as you can. All of that would really make my day. But that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are legendary. Sonny, end of this video. And as always, take care, guys.